So, as you can see, you have little choice. Bring Valerius to me, and I might let Janus live. Don't bring him to me, and he will surely die, as will Valerius and you. So you see, Valerius is going to die one way or another. This way, you at least get to spare the life of your friend. It's your choice. Now, you must sleep for a bit, and when you wake, you'll be back at the shore. You know what you must do. I really don't like that person. Now sleep. Guards, take him back to the shore. No, I don't. Well, that could have gone better. And we're back. Right, we're here at Orphan's Tear on the north coast of Skyrim. We were recently captured by Arundel, Arundel, and taken to his private ship, where he told us he had captured Marcus Janus. And that if we ever wanted to see Marcus alive again, we had to bring Val to the prison south of Helgen. The prison we rescued... Korst? Korst. Yeah. Now, I think we were supposed to bring him tied and bound, but I think we just go back, tell Val the truth, and then we all storm the castle. I'm thinking that's what's going to go on. However, it is actually getting quite late. And I'm trying to warm up on this fire, but it's not working. Can I warm up in here? No, it's absolutely freezing and there's, there is a snowstorm going on. I actually think we should camp the night here. Travelling up through that mountain in this weather is going to leave us absolutely frozen. In fact, that is what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. Where... There's my horse. This does make me realise that, um... Probably Frostfall could do with a little bit of tweaking. The tent has to be dangerously close to the fire to actually help you conserve heat. <laughs> and the tent behind it was too far away. But perhaps a few more metres of range is required. Still. Because, you know, it would have been nice to be able to spend the night here in this tent that was already pitched, but there you go. Let's put the tent away. All right. It is 6 a.m. And time to get on. It still doesn't look very pleasant. A little less cold. But hopefully things will warm up as we travel. It is still bitterly cold. I am already getting chilly. It's going to clear the snow begins to settle. Well, that's a bit of a relief. Yeah, this area of Skyrim seems to be the coldest one. Are we going down there? Nope. Next one. Is that... Oh, God, it's reeklings! Is he... Did he just... just... Is... Kajit got your back. Dalmor! Is there anyone? Are you the one I'm looking for? You look like him. I do hope you know what you're doing with those flames. Okay, they don't want to talk. There are way too many Thalmor in this neighborhood. Oh, really? Okay, you're blind as bats. You really didn't notice me shooting your men? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Um. You know what? I don't have very many... Um. 
Oh, what? Come on, come on. Why can't I shout? I'm sh Okay, I don't actually have very many words in that shelf. Shout. Shelf? In that shelf? What are they? What the heck? Skeleton. I was about to say, are there any witnesses? I don't think you count, but... Are they running away? Actually, if... Vigilance of Stendhal! Really? Okay. I don't believe... Oh, your friend's... Do You've got an arrow sticking out of your face. You know what? You know you're going to turn around. And come and hunt us. You know you are. Kill you. We don't believe you! Why on earth do they say that, eh? I mean, you have to ask that. Nobody believes them anymore. Okay, I want my arrows back. Okay, I want my arrows back from the... Thalmor as well. Was this like a, a crossroads for things that don't like us? It does make you realise, actually, that that Arendelle is not as clever and well-informed as he thinks he is. He let me free, basically, because he thinks I'm a good way to get Val, a man he would really like to kill. But he didn't realise, apparently that he has he had me in captivity it, is, it does suddenly occur to me that the Thalma are not all that bothered about me I'm not a high priority which bruises my ego a tiny bit but also makes me smirk I am probably the biggest threat to them and yet they're quite happy to ignore me what the hell Wolf Skull Cave. Oh, I remember this place. Now I remember that place. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I mean, I have a feeling the whole incident with the spoon is no longer an issue for them. But the fact that I... Is it mine? Is this? Hello? Um, the, you know, the fact that I ate most of their... Um, What's the word? Embassy! Couldn't think of the word. Damn shelves. Um, you know, I ate their entire embassy, and I have killed an awful lot of their patrols. I slew lots of them in elsewhere, and just in general have been a one-man Thalmor killing army. You'd think by now... I'd be fairly high on their priority list, but apparently not as high as Val. Unless, of course, they had absolutely no idea who I was, which, of course, seems to be a recurring theme. Apparently there must be lots of people who look like me and are wearing bright white armor and cloak riding a horse with dragon bones Elsewhere is an arid just land of deserts, walking around Skyrim the all the time where the sun shines warmly always okay anyway and we arrived here just in time for the sun to be rising so let's take the carriage to white run okay I would have had the Herald slightly higher because I'm fairly sure there's probably some rule about sitting Need on your city's you. heraldry. Where do you want to go? But hey, um, White Run. We'll Shall we nip in and pick some? Do I need to you nip in and pick anything up? 
The Ring of Her scene, but I don't need it yet. We've got, we've got a few weeks before that's an issue. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. Okay, weather's not too bad either. It's nice and bright. What time did we arrive? Just after 11. Okay, we'll be getting to Helgen about mid... Who the hell are you? Javier yeah. and Lorraine. Huh? What could... Oh, did you need something? Um... No, oh. not really, just... I don't remember seeing you two hanging around out here. And as a Thane of Whiterun, I, I take pride in knowing actually very little about my hold. I really don't. You know what, Kaja? We need to do a tour sometime. We need to find the boundaries of Whiterun because I don't even know that. We should find the, white, the boundaries of Whiterun and ride around them where humanly possible. And then try and visit every single place within it. It's, it's probably a duty or something I have. But I certainly should know key landmarks and where the hell the boundary is. Was that sabre cat over there chasing its own tail very briefly? Pretty sure it was. I think it was chasing its tail and I noticed it had an audience and decided to stop. There. Okay. Imperials. No. Really? Just absolutely no. And lots more no. I appreciate that we have horses with somewhat ludicrous headgear on. I'm getting it. I understand that. But that is horse armor. That's not dog armor. That's a bloody helmet you've squashed a little bit. And he looks ludicrous. He looks like you're going to give him a loot and try to make an amusing sketch with him. Just... Just no. A haze envelops the surrounding area. The very land is face palming. That's what that is. Skyrim itself has said, oh, I can't, I can't be watching that. That really is just too much. Okay. Is the weather getting bad? Oh, I always feel it. I always feel it. Every time I come back to Riverwood. A little nostalgia. Which is then ruined by the rain. Well, not ruined exactly. Dampened. Terrible pun. I am... Um, and yet still, I still get that feeling. That strange... I, I don't know. You well, fond memories of arriving here. In the early days of adventure. Which only shows how faulty memory can be because I remember I remember it fondly and yet logic says I should remember it with utter horror where is Kajo? Kajo? Something in your mind? Yeah, you again Um Hi well met. How's it feel to be back home? A blade in the dark it appears Delphine isn't just an innkeeper. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am I talking to your girlfriend or something? What? A blade in the dark. It appears Delphine isn't just an innkeeper. Let's not go there. How does it feel to be back home? Does this town look different at all to you? Um, why don't you get your eyes checked or did your sister burn those off too? Nope. 
Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe since you were last here, I, I don't know. I first time I came through here wasn't that long ago. Believe it or not, it feels like an eternity ago. But it wasn't actually that long ago. How odd! I spent nearly all my life in Riverwood, and nothing ever changed. But I guess everything looks bigger when you aren't looking for bars. I hope at least Stump is out and about. That dog is my favorite person here. Um, the world is safe. Alduin is dead. Did you ever own any pets? Really, really, really have some strange dialogue. Just one. When I was little, I often went out into the woods to collect flowers. It was there that I found the dirtiest, most flea-ridden mongrel in all of Skyrim. You he didn't also eat it, did you? Adorable. The way his fur hung over his tender grey eyes. I called him Sir Cadles, and I was in love. How did your family react when you brought the dog home? My mother was furious. Yet my father had a soft spot for his girls, so he tried to find a practical reason for why Cuddles couldn't stay. He pointed to how sick the dog was and how dangerous diseases were in the wild. I cried all night, burying my face in my hands. I never even noticed that my sister was gone. Uh, let me guess, she took the dog out back and killed it, and now you want to swear revenge and kill absolutely everybody? It was hours before dawn when the door clicked open, and I saw my sister with a healthy Sir Cuddle strolling on behind her. Okay, that didn't go in the she direction now. She her savings in a hawk feather and a chariot skiver hide, and even brewed the potion herself. <laughs> Silly me, my instincts were to hug the dog. Ah, but looking back, it's the memory of my sister's compassion that I truly covet. Okay. I'm curious about the scars. Okay. Ah, the scars came from adventuring. Most of them are barely visible, thanks to the one. From a distance, it may appear to be a dash of paint. A girl's attempt to look menacing. Something strange. Upon closer inspection, you'll we'll see some marker inside. burn. Okay. How? Yeah, there must be a story behind that burn scale. When I was a flowering young maiden, I once had many suitors. Men would travel great distances to see the diamond of Riverwood. My sister, on the other hand, had no suitors to speak of. She became very taciturn, sitting in her corner. Okay, as the that might explain. She was far more talented than I. You're getting on my nerves. She was studying at the College of Winterhold. What she was not, unfortunately, was pretty. But she was talented. How did that affect your relationship? Well, one of the lines was something suggesting that. Is this what the sister did? This is the same sister that cured your dog. We'd fight often about the smallest of things. Although they were never really about who was supposed to wash the clothes or sweep the floor. It was always about her envy and my lack of compassion. Eventually, one argument got rough. The hand she struck me with was cloaked in fire. Oh, okay, so it was... alright. Burning was a little excessive, so the little princess got burned. Cry some more. You can use my dirt. Really, really... I had no idea it was over something so stupid. Well, no, you poor thing. Um, burning was a little excessive, probably, yeah? No, I deserved it. Not the flames, but the slap. Make no mistake, I was a real bitch. Beauty tends to make monsters of us all. Okay. She didn't intend to burn me, of course. All of that anger, that rage just manifested itself into fire. I don't know why, but that was a bit of a relief, because I didn't want to think of the sister that cured your dog as then turning out to be, you know, horrible. Um, you seem rather understanding about the whole ordeal. Now, but not then. Oh no, I was sufficiently devastated. My beauty was all they had. It defined me. But it was the ugliness that hurts the most. The way people... Not just men looked at me. Always with that cringe. They all do it. Do what? 
their brows feral and their mouths contoured. Some even show their teeth. Even the polite ones can't help themselves, no matter how hard they try to disguise it. When you're beautiful, every word is met with a smile. When it's gone, the whole world is shrouded in darkness. I couldn't loathe my sister for what she did. Not now that I know her pain. Um... Yeah! Let's go with some happy news, yay! And I did not doubt you for one minute, my lord. What do you mean? You I killed him? Dragonborn, the saver of Skyrim. My rescuer, my champion. I didn't rescue and my you. Best friend. We don't know each other, lady. <laughs> they will shout your name across meat holes, great and small. Now, until the end of time. Okay. Well, it was nice chatting with you. It was, it was nice chatting with you. I didn't rescue you. You were walking through a necromancer-infested place, claiming you were locked up. You didn't look very locked up. In fact, you kind of look like you just killed a bunch of them. And if I seem to remember rightly, you were actually glad that you'd been captured. It seemed to be a recurring theme with you. When, when we had the first conversation, it was along the lines of, and the fifth time I was captured by necromancers, which... You know, does tend to suggest somebody who, well, has a capture fetish. Okay, well, she was very strange, but actually quite pleasant. And I am strangely glad that her sister didn't actually mean to burn her. Which probably means I'm getting all soppy in my old age. Soppy and thirsty, apparently. Well, I can cure the thirsty a little easier than the soppy. Okay, I probably should get on my horse, but I think we've already established. My horse really isn't very fast, is he? Maybe I should take him on a, on a, on a regime, a training regime, bit of a diet, morning runs, see if I can get him a little faster. Either that or I could trade horses with Carjo, because Carjo's horse a little on the insanely fast side. Although I suspect Carjo cheats. I think he's slipping something into his uh, feed. Okay, right. Let's go and find Val. Okay, this doesn't look good. Falco? Oh, don't tell me. Oh, God. He's a traitor, isn't he? I will take that silent glare to mean you know that Marcus is... Oh, no. Uh, sorry. Marcus has been captured by Erendil's men. He is at the prison. How do you know this? I was put under a spell and taken to Erendil by his men. He told me. Because he's a bad guy. That's what bad guys do. They tell you their plan. That and the fact that he wanted me to bring you to... God damn it, this is what the I was prison. afraid of. I hope you will find Wait right there. Okay. Falco, do you have anything you want to say about this? Valerius, I... I don't know anything about any of this. I swear to the gods. You and I are the only ones who knew Marcus was going to Riverwood. I made sure of that. You are a traitor and a liar. If you didn't have anything to do with this, then how was Marcus captured? How did they know what my friend here was up to? How did they know where Korst was hiding before? It's all very convenient, is it not? I... I don't know, Valerius. I... I swear I don't know anything you're talking about. Liar! Except for rescuing Korst, Arendelle has known what we were doing at every turn. I didn't have time to warn anyone about that, now did you? I saw you, Falco, two nights ago when you thought I was asleep. I followed you and saw the messenger you met with. I should kill you right now. Why didn't you kill the messenger? How could you betray me like this? How could you betray Marcus and all your brothers? Valerius, I'm sorry. They... They said they have my sister and her children. They're so young. They're all I have left. 
They said they would kill them if I didn't tell them what they wanted to know. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. Falco, you're a fool. Your sister and her children are already dead. We're if anyone sneaks up on us, shut up. I'll smell them never coming. Oh, that much is I certain. Not. We will see. You don't have time for this. Forrest, lock him in a cell downstairs. I'll deal with him later. Yes, sir. Fill me in on what you know. Okay. You and I must go to the prison if Marcus is to live. And it has come to this at last. Perhaps today is a good day to die. I'm ready to I go. I don't think so. Um. Take Valerius to Erendil. So we we just we just go, do we? We just wander off. No ceremony. No. Do you want to bring like a small army? I was thinking we don't walk in there and say, "Hey, here's Val. You can kill him yeah, now." No one sneaks up on us. But rather, we would go in there and kill everybody. I I know it's a fairly basic plan, but believe it or not, it's generally worked pretty well for me in the past. Well, you're probably right. They would probably get in the way anyone we brought. It was up here, wasn't it? We're going in the right direction. Let's double check. Follow the road around. Let's go this way. Avoid the fort. No random fights. Storm cloaks? Storm cloaks and giants. Okay, we should probably get their help, you know. They might actually enjoy uh, helping us out against the Thalmor. Right. Now. They don't seem to have any guards set up outside. Now... Be warned, Val, he has this really annoying paralyzed thing that doesn't seem to work all that well. He has to hit you two or three times, but it's very annoying. Is there a back way in? A back way in would be really useful, wouldn't it? You guys are probably not going to be able to follow me here. I'm just trying to... Not that I'm going to make it myself. I'm going to try... The whole billy goat thing. Okay. Oh, I did it. Right, there's no way in here. Or here. Okay, looks like we're going through. Do you know what? Let's do a tiny bit of preparation for this. Resist magic. I don't really have a huge number of... Resist magic spells. Regenerate health and key charm. Just if I switch to my boat. Okay, where's Kaju? Alright. I don't think stealth is an option here, so. Let's just get in there. Arendil, okay, don't put this over. Now let Marcus go. Now! That really wasn't my plan. The only way, Marcus. You must know that by now. It has to end here and now. So, we finally meet at last after all these years. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say you fall well short of the legends that precede you. <laughs> Keepers of Hartu, indeed. I said, let Marcus go! All in due time, Imperial. You know, I still remember the look on your son's face from all those years ago. It is the look of fear and death, and it's the same look on your face right now. Tell me what the look I is on my face. I remember my men saying he squealed like a little girl when they beat him, and that your wife and young daughter both moaned like whores as my men ravaged them again and again. And again. I'll kill you! You are taking that Let me take my. 
kill Erendil, Gladly, and the Thalmor in the prison. Gladly! Absolutely with pleasure. Okay, I'm being hit. Okay. Tough. Not happening. Any more? No? Was that it? What was that? That was me running around looking for you. Oh. Just... Sorry, Kajo, but... Any more? <sighs> okay, Val. Um, key. Oh, gold. Oh, that's terrible. I'm a terrible person. Done to him. Uh, it's some sort of parallel, but yeah, it, it will wear off. I hope. This is far, far worse than any what? paralysis spell I've ever seen. I, I think it's draining the life out of him. Uh, he used one on me, but you're right. This is much more powerful. Okay. Don't sit down, dude. Don't. To see if we can help him. Val, can you hear me? Yes, old friend. Barely. So good to be with you, old friend. I'm glad you're here. <coughs> We're going to find a way to get you out of here. Hang on, Valerius. No, old friend. My journey has come to an end. <coughs> Please, let me go, Marcus. Val, I. This is my wife and my children. Yes, old friend. Go to them. Go be with your family. Oh, oh my. <gasps> Valerius, he's gone. Oh, Dallas, no. Yes, Korst, it's finished. But what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Marcus. We just couldn't let him come here to die like this. But it appears we are too late. Yes, Korst, I understand. You men, stand at ease for a moment. I'm sorry, but these men and I would like some time alone, if you don't mind. We'll bring his body back to Helgen and prepare for his service tomorrow. Please join us in honoring our friend. Okay. I'll we'll see wait you to begin tomorrow. The until you arrive. Go easy, my friend. Well, that totally sucked. Right. We've got to meet them at Helgen tomorrow. Kajo? Okay. Then I tell you what. Let's find somewhere to sleep. Okay, well it has been a day, and they should be ready for us at Helgen now. We actually found a Stormcloak camp close by to Helgen. I thought we'd just hang around there, contemplate things. But they've had enough time to set up now, so it is time to go and wish Val 
Farewell. Okay. So where are we meeting? Over here, I guess. I came for the service as you requested. Yes, thank you for coming. Please, join the others. I'd like to say a few words. I know this must be as difficult for each of you as it is for me. More so. You were his trusted friends, and his inner circle. Of our friend, I can assure each of you this. He told me that he was truly happy again. For the first time in many, many years. I don't presume to have words that might assuage the grief of you. You will each have to find your own solace in whatever manner suits each of you best. But if this were a proper military funeral, you would most likely have a musician playing a funeral song. Many of these old songs came from ancient battlefields. They were played at the end of a long day of fight. They were lullabies, meant to signify that all was peaceful and safe and rest. Well, Valerius, old friend, you will not soon be forgotten. You are safe now. Finally, be at peace. And rest. For our friend, we weep. For his memory, we rejoice. For this war, we salute. We salute. For ourselves, we say, we say goodbye. goodbye.